Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Answers. Today's video, I got the liquid cooler for the Titan X, so we're gonna see how much better the temperatures are with the EVGA hybrid cooler. Um, I'd show you how to install it, but there's tons of videos out there of people installing that cooler, so if you want, you can look up any of those. But uh, just wanted to show you some of the numbers that I got as far as temperatures. Also, I haven't seen anybody that has been overclocking them, so I've tuned in a couple good overclocks and just want to uh, pass those along because I was looking for them and I didn't find them, so I figured I would just make my own. So let's uh, let's play. All right, everyone. So I'm running the same uh, test that I did last time. I'm gonna let Heaven run for about 10 minutes to see what our uh, temperatures even out at. And if you see over here, uh, I have n everything is stock. I have not touched anything as far as overclocking, any voltage, any limits. I even still have it on its stock uh, 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 limits over here. So we're gonna run this for 10 minutes. Hold on. Let me apply that. Make sure everything is set. That's good. We're gonna run this and see how it does with the uh, EVGA hybrid cooler. All right, so as you can see, we've been running a little over 10 minutes, about 12 minutes. Uh, temperature seems to have leveled off at 55 degrees Celsius. And more importantly, no blower noise. Can't hear the blower. Uh, and my frequency is uh, seems to be hovering right around about... 1830, 1800 megahertz, which is awesome. You can see it hit a max of 1898, but quickly dropped down. The fan, you can't really judge this fan because that's just the blower style fan that is on the EVGA cooler, but since the chip is so cool, it never gets, never, never turns up. But this, this is amazing. This temperature keeps this up. All right, well, let's stop Unigen Heaven. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show y'all an overclock that I got dialed in. That seems to be working very well for this. I already have it saved. So as you can see, I have a plus 100 on the core voltage. That just uh, allows it to hit its max voltage. Increase the power limit to 120, 120%, max temperature of 90. It'll never see that. Core clock, I got uh, 225 megahertz offset with a 400 megahertz memory. I can probably go higher on the memory, but I don't, uh, from what I've understand, I believe Gamers Nexus said that they saw a degradation in the Pascals beyond 400, or it never really improved. So you can do 450, 500, but there's no improvement. And if it's not improving anything, then I certainly don't want to, uh, I don't want to run it that hard all the time. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm not even gonna let it cool down, uh, cause I don't care. Um, not even going to let it cool down. We're just going to fire this up with this overclock and let this run for 10 minutes and see what kind of temperatures and frequencies we get. So let's start this. Wait for it to start. It takes forever. All right. So initially, frequency is well over 2,000. Uh, 2076 seems a little lower than what I've had it before but that's fine it's a little warm in this room so we're gonna let that run for 10 minutes and we're gonna see where everything ends up when it's done all right everybody that's the we hit about 12 minutes 12 13 minutes on this test and as you can see we're at about uh, 59 with a uh, jumps up to 60 degrees Celsius every now and then uh, the stock fan went up to 34, or that, excuse me, the blower fan on the EVGA cooler went up to 34, and the core clock, uh, our max at 2,088 with, uh, uh, seems to be hanging around two, uh, 2,050, 2,038, still not bad for this card. Might be able to get a little more, not really sure if I want to, but either way, you can hear the fan that's on the radiator. Uh, I switched that stock fan out for a Corsair uh, Air, PWM Airflow just because it's a better fan than the stock one that comes with the cooler. And I have that actually hooked up to my NZXT Kraken for a custom fan loop. So you can hear that one's kicked up a little bit more. Um, I can tell it's pumping out more heat just because the room's warmer. So this temperature is also because it's the fan's blowing a little harder. I don't know if maybe if I turn this down you can hear it. Maybe. But 
a uh, little louder, still far, far quieter than the stock cooler. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, Titan X overclocked to about 2050, or 2088, uh, seems to be running stable at about 2050, 2038, but yeah, there you go. Those are the temperatures of the EVGA hybrid on the uh, uh, Titan X. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.